I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking about an overview specifically of sequences. In problem number 19, I'd like to write the first four terms of the sequence of a sub n's defined by uh, this recurrence relation. Okay, so um, this is a little bit different way to define a sequence, but we can still use it to get the first four terms easy enough. In fact, the first term is given to us. All right, so uh, a sub 1, we know right off the bat is 10. They tell us that. So the question is, what is a 2? Well, a2, this tells me that if I want to get the next term in the sequence, then I take the previous term, multiply it by 3, and subtract 12. So if I want to know what a sub 2 is, I take 10, I multiply it by 3, and I subtract 12. Well, 10 times 3 is 30, subtract 12 is 18, and so we get 18 for a2. How do I get a sub 3? Well, my relation here says, well, you take the guy before it, a2, multiply him by 3 and subtract 12. So if I multiply 18 by 3, what do I get? 54 subtract 12 would be what? Uh, 42. All right. And finally, if I want to get a sub 4, then I want to do the exact same thing again. Take a 3, the guy before him, multiply him by 3 and subtract 12. Uh, so 42 times 3 is 126. Subtract 12 would be 114. So uh, whenever you have a recurrence relation like this, uh, just follow the rule again, and follow the rule again, and follow the rule again, and that generates your sequence for you.